Hey, Delson Ness here from The Mimic Method. I've been a few weeks here in hot, tropical Thailand on a new language learning mission. This time not to learn a foreign language, not Thai, not anything, but instead to learn MMA striking, kickboxing. And in this video, we'll get into why I consider that a language, and we'll specifically show you how I'm using the same mimic method process I would learn to coach someone and conjugating verbs, and then compare that to my process of learning how to dodge and defend punches. When I first got here, I day one just entered into the sparring arena and unsurprisingly got punched in the face. And also whenever people threw punches at me, I would always like, ah, like instinctively flinch and shell up like this, which is not the best reaction to someone punching you, especially in a gym full of a bunch of fighters. It's kind of embarrassing. And I know a lot of you guys watching here are learning foreign languages, have had the experience of entering into a conversation and receiving the metaphorical punch in the face, having words thrown at you really fast and you're just kind of like blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, uh. So we're gonna talk about how do you overcome that response? How do you get better at that? And this is especially relevant for those of you who have done conventional language learning methods, which overtrain your intellect. They fill your head up with a bunch of facts and formulas about conjugation and translation rules. So then you get stuck in your head while you're trying to have a conversation and this does not work. It actually makes the problem even worse because the act of conversation, just like the act of fighting someone, is a physical act, is done off of intuition, not off of intellect because the intellect is too slow to flow. So we'll talk about then how do we train our intuition so we can have the right reactions and have the right responses. Both kickboxing and language are two manifestations of the same fundamental phenomenon. What we have here are spontaneous interaction of agents in an arena. So agent, that's actually a technical term for an entity that has goals and can perceive an environment and process information and make decisions to take action toward those goals. That's what an agent is. A interaction is when you have two agents acting on each other, having goals on each other. So agent A has the goal of making agent B do something and therefore he has to react to what agent B is throwing back at him. So in a fight, you're throwing punches at me and I have to react to that. And then in a conversation, you're saying things to me, I have to understand it and respond, react to that. So that's what an interaction is. Spontaneous means that it's happening live in the moment without any pre-meditation. So different from writing a series of letters back and forth, a conversation is live, you don't have time to think. And then finally, an arena. Again, a technical term. An arena is simply a structured environment that has boundaries on the actions that you can take. So in an octagon, for example, in the UFC, you have to learn how to deal with that cage. And also the arena is what you can do. In boxing, I can't throw kicks. In kickboxing, I can't throw, uh, I can't do takedowns. In MMA, I can do takedowns, but I can't, you know, bite people or headbutt them. So there's limitations, or we can say a grammar to what you can do. So taking that to language then, the arena is the structure of the language itself, but not just the language, but the culture. Not just the words I say, but the way I move. You know, do I pick my nose? Do I make weird sounds and noises, do I make eye contact? All of these things are part of the arena. So if you wanna flow in that arena, if you wanna be fluent in that arena, then we need to know how to train ourselves to spontaneously interact within it properly. Let's talk about how do we get good? How do we develop our skills in the arena? And there's basically two approaches. The most basic approach is the sink or swim approach. I just throw you into the arena. You're overwhelmed by everything at first, but if you survive it, then eventually your instincts take over and you just kind of adapt to that environment and learn how to behave. A better approach is to not do sink or swim, but instead to flow channel it. So the flow channel is the most important concept in life, in my opinion. You have the Y axis, which is your challenge, the X axis, which is your skill or time, and what you're looking for is the skill challenge match. What is that level of challenge that is perfectly matched to where you are in your skill right now? If you 
engage at that level, you will experience maximum engagement, maximum positive emotion, and you will mock maximum learning as well. You will progress much faster. And then as you overcome that challenge, you will increase your skill, in which case you wanna up the challenge. But if you up the challenge too much, you end up in the red zone where you're overwhelmed, frustrated, anxious. But if you don't challenge yourself, you'll eventually get bored and fall off as well. So you need to find that sweet spot always. But interaction breaks down into actions and reactions. So first we have the action training. So I'm gonna just have someone teach me. Nam is my boxing partner here. He has more experience than me. So he kind of shows me the proper technique for a slip. He shows me proper technique for a parry. And then once I kind of have that technique more or less figured out, I use a metronome and I drill it over and over again to that beat. So it gets deep in my muscle memory. I'm also using the metronome to gradually increase the speed of my movement and get it more and more fluent over time. The key to learning or coaching a, anything is being able to understand what the variables of the challenge are. And the variables here in this challenge are gonna be predictability. So I'm gonna do rhythmic re reaction versus sporadic reaction. Then of course there's speed. I have my partner throw at me faster as I get better. Then I have the variable of the different ways that I can respond to a single punch. You know, I can dodge block, I can mix in and do a, a wider variety of responses. Then I also have the variety of things coming at me. So first he just throws a punch, then he throws a jab rather, then he starts throwing jabs and crosses, then he goes jab, cross, hook. Yeah. And I can stack these variables bit by bit to increase my challenge. Nice one. A bigger picture here for boxing, we're gonna apply the same ideas to learning a language. My boxing partner, Nam, doesn't speak any Portuguese, so I'm gonna show you now in a fairly speeded up and edited version of how I coached him in learning the basic pronouns and conjugations in present tense for Portuguese. First, we're gonna play the echo game where he just kind of repeats after me. And the goal is to be very fast. So he's not thinking, he's just responding. And he's not just echoing with his mouth, he's echoing with his whole body and trying to get my full energy and spirit.
você, você, eu, eu, sim, você, sim, você, sim, eu, sim, eu, sim, eu falo, sim, sim, eu falo, sim, eu falo, sim, eu falo, 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 você fala, você fala, você fala, você fala, você fala, você fala, eu falo, eu falo, você fala, você fala, ele fala, ele fala, ele fala, ele fala, ela fala, ela fala, eu falo, eu falo, você fala, você fala, nós falamos, nós falamos, nós falamos, nós falamos, você fala, você fala, eu falo, eu falo, você fala, você fala, nós falamos, nós falamos, nós bebemos, nós bebemos, nós bebemos, você bebe, você bebe, você bebe, você bebe, eu bebo, eu bebo, sim, eu bebo, sim, eu bebo. Then we move on to the agreement game where I say like, I drink and he's like, yeah, yeah, you drink. And what he has to do is react, same way I have to react to punches, he has to react with the right conjugations. So he'll show how I coach him in that and how we keep repeating it over and over again. I switch it up and try to make it fast, speed, speed, speed. And through this intuitive reaction training and the speed training, he's getting it more and more in his body as opposed to being in his mind. Você, sim, 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 eu, sim, você, eu, sim, sim, você, eu, sim, você, eu, sim, você, eu, sim, você, eu, sim, você, ele, sim, você, sim, eu. Você, se eu, você, se eu, ele, se eu, você, se eu, ele, se eu, você, se eu, ela, se eu, você, se eu, eu, se você, ela come, se ela come, ela come, se ela come, ele come, se ela come, ela come, se ela come, eu come. Se você come, eu como. Se você come, come. Eu como. Se você come, eu como. Se você come, ela come. Se ela come, eu como. Se você come, você come. Se eu come, eu como. Ah, se eu como, você come. Se eu como, você come. Se eu como, vocês comem. Se nós comemos, nós comemos. Ah, se nós comemos, vocês comem. Se nós comemos, nós comemos. Se vocês comem, comem. Comem. Nós comemos. Se vocês comem, comem. 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 Eu não comemos. Se vocês comem, nós comemos. Se vocês comem, vocês comem. Se nós nós comemos, vocês comem. Se nós nós comemos, vocês comem. Se nós comemos, vocês comem. Se nós comemos, vocês comem. Eu como. Se você come, ele come. Se ele come, nós bebemos água. Nós bebemos água. Água da garrafa. Água, água da garrafa. Garrafa, 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 garrafa. Água da garrafa. Água da garrafa. Garrafa, garrafa. Eu bebo água da garrafa. Eu bebo água da garrafa. Da garrafa, da garrafa. Água da garrafa. Água da garrafa. Você bebe água da garrafa? Se eu eu bebo água da garrafa. Você quer água da garrafa? Se eu quero, 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 quero água da garrafa. Você quer? Se eu quero, 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 quero. Eu quero. Se você quer, quer, quer. Eu quero. Se se você quer água da garrafa. Eu quero. Se você quer, quer. Você quer? Se eu quero, eu quero. Você quer? Você quer? Se eu quero, você quer água da garrafa. Se eu quero água da garrafa. The key here in Nam's progression was that we were working fast and we were really trying to get into character. It wasn't what we do in conventional learning, which is a purely intellectual thing, where you're like, okay, yeah, uh, comer, como, sure, got it. That's a completely different part of your brain that you're using there. Here you want to be in your body, it's in your reactions. I can't just think about slipping a punch. It just has to flow out of me. So that's what we're training here. Now when Nam is speaking Portuguese or he's in conversation, he'll recognize that. Obviously there's a lot more to learn in the Portuguese language, just like there's a lot more for me to learn in MMA striking, but you can see if you continually flow channel this process, you will build these micro skills very rapidly, much faster than the average person will. Now, after a couple of weeks, I'm already starting to kind of tag up people who've been training striking for several months. And that's because most people are just doing sink or swim. They're not doing any kind of methodical training the way I am. And when you do that, you can really cut the learning curve and get far and flow. So if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this. We are launching in 2024 a new membership program called Flow School. It's a get access to our entire library of courses. I'll be continually adding mini courses on this type of response training for language, um, how to do different grammatical concepts, how to use music, how to learn songs, all these things. I'll be adding more and more content to our membership. So check it out on our website. We will be doing discounted memberships at the end of 2023 this year. And then um, that will be our business model moving forward. So check out the website for more information on that as well.